Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, it's Beatrice Vivius and your favorite beach party. Frankie Two Socks is straggling along somewhere. I don't know where he is. Sometimes he comes all the way to the extreme mouth, sometimes he falls down a rabbit hole and just sits and stares at his phone. Some mornings. Some mornings, the sunrise is just incredible here on St. Lucia History Beach. Now that's when you want to be here with a cup of coffee, your loved ones, and some rusks. Jabauma! St. Lucia History, Isimangalusa Wetland Park, South Africa, 10 past 5 in the morning. Beautiful sunrise. Oh, it's so pretty! The main camera brings out the orange completely. The YouTube live camera doesn't even remotely give you the colors that's available. The morning beach walk video watchers. Where I don't try not swear as much. I don't speak in cursive as much as on the live channel. So I suggest if you watch with your kids, your family. And you want to make sure that I've got a chance to edit the cursive language out I suggest you watch the morning beach walk videos now the icons is clear this is the quality of the morning beach walk video and that is done wow now why don't you see the same color on the live that, uh, that the 53 Samsung C Interesting, but anyway. And yeah, years and years of experience. And this is your favorite beach! <laughs> but then, why are you talking? Has to be a stocky. Somebody said I'm not allowed to pull part at the beach. We don't have problems with our pronouns here on the channel. It's a female canine, according to the Oxford Dictionary. That's a bitch. I'm not gonna be sexually mutilate her. So that I don't have to call her a bitch anymore. She's a bitch. Okay. <laughs> Sandbank forming on the northern bank here once again. It's now in perpetual motion this forming of the sandbank.
Now we can clearly see, even with the spring tide high tide, that mud that prevents this peninsula from migrating to the north is hanging in there. Without agitation, it's going to go nowhere. Probably going to become the northern pier rock formation. You can see, there you can clearly see, look at the salt water running off. How little erosion is caused. Look, you can see in the water color that the mud is dissolving. But it's not enough to break it up and to take it away before it carbonates. That I can guarantee you. It's not gonna happen. Uh, the discoloration we see the because of the breaking up of the mud in the ocean water is just probably helping solidifying this mud bank completely. Just, uh, it sits in relation with its background. It's a normal grey area. Water thick me, water thick. Look at that sizable crocodile here at the estuary mouth. I don't know, it doesn't look like the same size one that we found the other morning hunting here on the beach. Yes guys, hunting. The video is available. I make sure you can't miss the thumbnail. Crocodiles hunt in the ocean. As the days goes past and the tide thumps on the, on the peninsula, the ocean-borne sediment gets more and more washed over onto the mud banks here, across from the ski boat club. One of these days we'll be able to walk from here to the ski boat club, have breakfast and come back to the estuary mouth. How would that be? Awesome! The estuary totally choked up. And to those guys that keep on spreading a rumor, it's just purely my mere opinion. Maybe you could, you could say that six months ago. But since the 14th of April, I've brought many people on this journey with me to show them how the estuary gets clogged up with ocean-borne sediment, how the dunes are migrating with wind-borne sediment, and how there's no life returning into the ocean. Look, there's proof of life in that, that channels. If we could have more of those channels that we dig in with water cannons, imagine how much Exponentially, we would have improved the marine activity here. Just look at that. Look at that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that, look 
look at that. Yo, there's a lot of life. It's not a small crocodile, it's just a stick. Just to show you how waterlocked this little peninsula is, this is why the ocean waves can thump it more to the west. Because there you can see the water draining out of it. Are you going to take some bentonite home today? It looks like I had forgot up here. Okay, let's just zoom in a little bit. Let me show you what I mean. Is it not edible? What is it? Bentonite. You know how many millions of people urinated in that mud? And how many tons of excrement is caught up in that mud? Our generation X survived right into the 20th, 21st century. It's bloody amazing. It's Oh, it's a palm nut vulture. Oh, beautiful palm nut vulture in flight. Oh, damn. thank you, Marius, Sean, and Anas, for this beautiful camera. <gasps> wow, what a lovely footage that was. What have you decided to eat? Did you bring it with you? I didn't see it.
Pas par dit! Pas my go! Biki! Kan swim! Kan swim met Biki! Ja! Het is lekker cool, nee! Gaan weer! Gaan weer, die mensen wel zien hoe cool is dit! Gaan! Gaan swim! Gaan! Gaan voor dit, ja. Wil jij niet nat worden? Nie? Huh? Wil jij ook niet nat worden? Nie? It was feeding on the reminder of a, of a bubble skeleton. So nobody is really sure how much beach driving is worth right now. 1200 Rand per annum per mid, per permit. It can be a couple of million rands a month. So this is Petrus Vivius and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my proposal to drive on the beaches to fund the Estuary Mouth and I'm going to give it to the black business people. Because I'm not hurtful for being bullied by the African white Afrikaner white people, whether I should be able to allow to be drive on the beaches or not. So good luck with fighting that. Is a lying too much on helping other people that they will help him back. <laughs> the mommy had to buy Pardet fruit this month. Well this week. It's back in last 10 days.